Hi guys, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial with me, John. Now in this tutorial, um, this is part two of a series, but if you're just here to make a pillow or cushion, then that's fine. Um, but what we've done is we've modeled a very, very simple low poly bed, and we're gonna be actually using end cloth to um, go ahead and start actually making a pillow. Okay, so let's dive on in. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a poly cube, move this over, um, start getting the kind of random pillow, you know, normal, not random, but the uh, standard pillow shape. So something like that, okay. Um, I'm gonna move this up then, okay. So this is our pillow. Let's move it to the other side of the bed so we can see it in our perspective view. Okay, a little too thick at the moment, so I'm gonna bring it down like so. Now what you wanna do is you wanna add subdivisions, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's go to our attribute editor and come to the polycube, <coughs> um, polycube shape. Where are we? Ah, probably before. Here we are. Um, cool. So subdivisions in the width. I'm going to put about. I'm going to put about eight in the depth. I'm going to put about. I think I'll put eight there as well. And then in the height, I think I'll put two. There you go. So this is what this is our shape. Okay. Um, what we need to do next is with this selected. You need to go to your effects tab, or it might be called End Dynamics tab, whatever version you're running. I'm in 2017. Go to end cloth and create end cloth. Okay, so this is now an end cloth um, shape. You also want to then go to fields and solvers and just create a gravity field. Okay, um, next you want to go and select this mattress. Go back to end cloth or maybe an end mesh menu in other software in other versions and click create passive collider. Okay, so we're doing well so far. Um, <clears throat> now, what we want to do now is, with our pillow selected, um, go across and find the nucleus, okay? And just in case, we're just going to click use plane, okay? Just in case the uh, mattress isn't going to work, but I should do. Um, finally, anyway, next, you want to go to end cloth shape. And in here, you'll have something, a tab called pressure. Okay, so let's put this to one, first of all. Okay, just so we can kind of see what it's doing. And now we're going to need to start simulating this, okay? So if you've got, it may be that you've only got like 40 frames loaded. If you have, just type in 200. So you've got 200 frames because we want to start simulating this now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click play. And you can see, okay, it's inflated it. And mm, I think that's a little bit too much. So I'm going to go down to about 0.6. Go back to the first frame and simulate it again. It's a little bit more sort of curved to it this time. I think for me, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the shape, go to edit, um, delete all by type history. So now if I go back to the first frame and play through, nothing's gonna happen, we've got this shape, okay? And then the final thing I wanna do is I wanna actually smooth this. So I've got my mesh, let's go back to the modeling tab mesh and smooth okay and here we have our lovely looking pillow nice and organic nice and organically made so i'll just move this down now just so it's kind of sitting on the bed properly okay and that's it for this tutorial so it's quite nice nicely it was a quicker one what i would probably do is just rotate it around um but yeah um, join us in the next tutorial where we'll make the duvet that falls over the bed. If you didn't check out the previous one where we make the bed, go and do that. Check out our other Maya tutorials, After Effects, Illustrator, all that jazz. Hit like, subscribe, leave us a comment of what you want to see next, and hopefully see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.